A restaurant in Baltimore is being accused of racism, and this is going to shock you. The reasons are frivolous and stupid, if you can believe it. A, a, a frivolous claim of racism. That doesn't sound like the culture I know. It doesn't sound like our culture. So reading now from the Daily Wire says, um, a soon-to-be-opened restaurant in Baltimore ha- is being called racist because it posted a sign with one specific message. The restaurant has a dress code. The Chop Tank, which alerted prospective customers that it will be opening soon on its website, posted a dress code listing some items that would be unacceptable to wear on its premises, including excessively baggy clothing, offensive vulgar or inappropriate attire, athletic attire, jerseys, brimless headgear, backwards or sideways hats, work and construction boots, sunglasses after dark. Um, On Twitter, uh, one Twitter user described themselves as a photojournalist tweeted, Dress coded sign at the new Chop Tank restaurant in Fells, followed by another tweet. Uh, and then from there, the controversy starts. Uh, one Twitter user said, This is racist as hell. I will never enter your restaurant and will actively warn others away from it. Have a great day. Someone else said, Y'all could have saved yourself some time at the Chop Tank and just posed a no black people sign. A writer from Elle magazine tweeted that the restaurant had a blatantly discriminatory dress code. And the Washington Post is writing about it on and on and on. Um, people are calling it racist. This, this is one of those cases um, where the people calling it racist, and this happens a lot, where the people who call something racist have revealed themselves to be racist. Because if you read that list and you think, oh, that's going to disqualify all black people, how is that not racist? Are, are you just, is, is that not engaging in, in, uh, in insulting stereotypes? No, the, the, this is a dress code that is put forward for everybody. And there's a logical reason for a lot of it. Like, for instance, one of the reasons why establishments don't like really baggy clothing, especially in the city, is because you can hide stuff in it. Like a gun, for instance. They don't want vulgar attire. Where, well, that's that most most places don't want that because that offends other customers, and you don't want to offend paying customers. Uh, don't wear athletic attire. Well, again, that's that's just if if you're trying to be a slightly nicer kind of restaurant, maybe one step up from Burger King or Subway, then you don't want people walking in in, in basketball shorts. Don't wear sunglasses after dark. Again, this is just this, and that's that's another thing. There are a lot of places, if you go into a bank, it's going to say, don't wear sunglasses and hats in the bank. Is it, is it discriminatory? No, they're just because you might be trying to rob the place. So to look at that list and say that it discriminates against, that to me seems extremely bigoted and racist. I think that a, a dress code like that seems to me to be completely reasonable. No matter what your race happens to be, anyone of any race is perfectly capable of complying with that dress code. And, uh, and it should really be as simple as that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip from The Matt Wall Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.